Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a tutorial to show you a little bit about iTunes 11 and the radio feature that can be found within iTunes. Now, I recently upgraded to iTunes 11. I know I'm a little bit behind the 8-ball on this one. I, I like to kind of wait a little while before I uh, upgrade some of the uh, programs like that um, just to you know figure out what some of the kinks are and things like that that I might need to be aware of as gotchas and um, so today I went ahead and did the upgrade to uh, iTunes 11 and I found missing one of my favorite things so what I have here what you see right now is actually a shot from uh, the older you know 10 dot something version of iTunes and I have highlighted here on the left hand side the menu and this nice little radio function right here love it for those of you who aren't aware of the radio feature this uh, particular tutorial will tell you a little bit about that and it will then help you to find it in iTunes 11 because in iTunes 11 it's not there in the same place anymore so let's cut over to that okay here's a shot of iTunes 11 now honestly I, I like the look of it I think it looks much better um, in that sense however you notice on the left hand side here I don't have my menu anymore and so when I first got into iTunes 11 I'm looking around and it's like hmm where is my radio? I want to be able to go out and check out radio. So, you know, I started looking along the top and I clicked on music, got the same, you know, options to go by music. Um, and then I clicked over here on this uh, little set of uh, menu bars there and, you know, not getting a whole lot of information in there. And then I clicked on library and it brought me to my list of uh, music that I have in here and I'm looking across the top oh there we go there's radio now on this particular menu so it wasn't necessarily as easy to find as I would have liked it to be uh, but I did eventually get there so now when I click on radio what you see here is a list of several different genres of music and if you expand any one of these for example, let's go into jazz, because I like jazz. I can basically look at a whole host of different radio stations from across the world that are offering jazz on their station. Very nice. You can find anything just about anywhere. Um, really like it. If you're into uh, international music, uh, you got international and world options, like ABC France. Um, that's a really nice station if you like listening to French music. However, um, I'm going to guess that most of us aren't going to do that. You've got lots of adult contemporary stations. Again, tons of them to be able to, to look through. Um, the possibilities here are pretty great. Uh, 307 different streams just in the adult contemporary category. Alternative rock, You've got ambient music, blues and classic rock, classical music, college and university stations, uh, comedy and country, you name it. There's lots of stuff here. Um, this is a great feature within iTunes to just click on a station and have it playing in the background while you're you know, cleaning house or working on something, what have you. Um, a really neat tool. Um, so that's how you find it in iTunes 11. Um, once again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the store. This is kind of that, you know, I just launched iTunes. We're going to click on the library. And since I was just on the radio, it's remembering that I was there. Um, but then I can choose to, you know, go back to my songs or albums or uh, other artists. There's also a little menu here on the left that I can choose to drop down. Um, this will allow me then to go out to my apps so I can do my updates for my iPad or my iPhone and um, you've got those couple extra places there because apps isn't along the top here but it is over here um, so awesome hope this was helpful and you get some good use out of the radio section thanks have a great day